for those that are tuning in, like I'm trying to be as objective as possible with this shit, uh, mainly because I'm a PC gamer. I have a PS4. I play a lot of sports games on there, on the, uh, the console, mainly NHL. That's why I've got it. I don't play shooters on it, but I wanted to try Vanguard to give it a shot because they have it capped only for PlayStation, right? It's the biggest issue I'm having with the game right now for me personally is just the controller trying to get around that objectively, looking at the game objectively as a whole. The guns have a lot more recoil a lot more recoil than what you would see in some previous Call of Duty titles. It doesn't feel like I'm playing a World War II game. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the optics or what it is, but it just, it doesn't feel like a World War II game to me, uh, which is bizarre. Now, campaign could change that. Where is the line drawn then? That's the question, right? It feels like a, a weird World War II cosplay for the, the characters. I didn't get that feeling in COD World War II. But I feel like I'm feeling that right away. And you know who I think it is? It's that dude right there that's really throwing it off for me. That dude right there and then the guy with the beret. Welcome I don't know what it is. Champion the open Hill, jacket. Friends. Shit, it just feels really weird. Your team and then has the beret a whole bunch of lives. in combat. I know they Lose some people did that. And you're it just feels a little awkward. I don't Last know. Again, this is me being hypercritical some gear for the sake of being hypercritical. Stations. But... Eliminate Gameplay, mechanics, I'll just keep it to cash. mechanics. Movement feels, it feels more similar to Modern Warfare, I would say. Is. Time makes things, I don't know, in my head a lot better, easier for me to grasp, I guess. Yeah, this, the movement compared to like, game like, for example, Battlefield, because I've been playing a bunch of Battlefields, the game feels definitely different, but I mean, I've been really used to. Well, here's your chance to resupply. Resupply and stock up. Perks. Here we go. Extra lethal on spawn. Enemies leave footprint trail. Yeah, that would be nice. Double time. Double the duration. Undetectable. Survival training. I alert. Vision pulses. I'm not going to be quick enough to do that with controller. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I think maybe let's try tracker. Just right, 10 let's more try that seconds. one out. Let's upgrade our gun a little bit. I guarantee you they're going to sit back quite a bit. Mainly because they Careful don't want to ten lives left. lose their kills. So they're down by three. So Traegs, I think if we sit the MG42. Let's try the MG out, man. I mean, why not, right? Let's might as well full send it here. We got enough money for it. it what? Dude, what is this, man? What we got EOTech? We got EOTechs out here? Dude. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it. Yeah, it's like a you side a attack, station. man. This is weird. Full armor. Flame. Flame and gun. Equips a machine gun with explosive rounds, dude. Ten seconds left. Stay strong. Oh, V2 rocket. Yeah, I saw that. That's the thing again. One push on the left. Okay, so you get blur when you shoot the gun as well. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, man, look at the... What are you guys' thoughts on this? It's a World War II game, and you're seeing this. Like, I think World at War with the aperture sights, which were a lot more... I don't know. It just feels awkward on the guns. It makes it feel like it's a hybrid of World War II and something else. It definitely feels like Modern Warfare. <laughs> I'm also playing on PlayStation. I'm trying to keep that in mind that I, I'm not playing on my computer where I would have a lot different experience. But all things considered, with that in mind as well, it's honestly, it feels pretty good. The gun's recoil are pretty crazy though. I'm playing so different. Like I'm playing like, I oh my gosh. I'm playing so slow. Surrounded. All right, so good to know that uh, hip fire does literally nothing. I'm pretty sure I made a perfect outline around that guy. You can blind fire. See yeah, how that works. Okay, so it's not actual blind fire. Double kill. First game, not too bad because we were playing all level ones, but I'm so bad at this game. Like, look at this. I can't hit. Can you mount on corners? Yes, you can. Yeah, so you can mount and you can actually move while mounted. Moving while mounted is definitely a thing. Holy recoil count. on the shotgun, chat. Did Not you see that shit? 
Yeah, it's good because it's a shotgun, but holy so for those that are wondering about the beta if they don't like this uh, game mode So the beta right here This will be held over two weekends from Friday September 10th to Monday September 13th and Thursday September 16th to Monday September 20th The first weekend September 10th to the 13th will be for PlayStation owners who have pre-ordered the game The second weekend will be considered an open beta in its entirety for PlayStation owners those on other platforms will need to pre-order the game to access the first two days of the beta, September 16th and September 17th, before it becomes an open beta for all platforms from Saturday, September 18th to Monday, September 20th. So there you have it. Everybody, no matter what system you have, will be able to play the open beta September 18th to Monday, September 20th. Would I pre-order this game? based on what I've played right now? And the answer is no. The game mode that I'm playing right now, this isn't Call of Duty. You can argue the same thing with the Modern Warfare, but the thing is the Modern Warfare Alpha that I played pulled me in, wanted me to get more of this, wanted me to try out more so that I could try it out. I don't know what it was about it. I just, I just really liked it, I guess. I don't know. Got him. I've got the gun completely upgraded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that it's 10 upgrades, ladies and gents, on this gun. It's the dots right by the gun, so. But I gotta say, the fully upgraded BAR is just ridiculous. Bloodthirsty. That's just ridiculous. Looks like a mine. You got 10 seconds. Team George, we're done here. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We're gonna we're gonna take that L. It's all on you now. Keep it going. You took out Team Abel. There it is. Franken gun. Should we do the Fra yeah, f dude? Let's try something new. What the actual f dude? This is so stupid. Did the alpha want me to pre-order the game? No, it did not. And I think that's what the alpha intent is to do, is to want you to pre-order it so you can play the beta, or to want you to get interested in the game a little bit more. Am I interested in the game a little bit more? Yes, I will say that. I will say I'm a little bit more interested in the game now after playing the alpha. Do I think the alpha game mode is a good game mode for Call of Duty? Not necessarily. I don't think it fits well. I think the spawning is pretty bad. It's similar to playing shipment where people just understand the spawn rates when we were playing people that were high levels, like level 20, 25s. They understood what the spawns were looking like. Well, I think we only saw level 20 top. Yeah. Anyway, those were the people that understood the spawns, where to go, and Treggs was doing a great job at wall banging people right off the bat. Like start, literally spawn in, shot, getting a kill instantly. So there's stuff like that that I know they'll be able to fix and I know they'll be able to control. But the thing is, the core mechanics of the game didn't excite me. And that's a little concerning in a Call of Duty game. I think Modern Warfare was great. Cold War, not my favorite game. I see why people liked it. I didn't like it. There's a lot more arcadey. I like the little bit slower pace of Modern Warfare personally. And looking at it objectively, putting aside the fact that I play a PC, I don't play PlayStation, I don't play shooters on console. The maps being as small as they were, were challenging and I don't think the game mode fits the Call of Duty play style as much as what Call of Duty is known for. Is that a bad thing? No, maybe they're trying new things. I'm all for them trying new things, but the problem is the fact that the game is just meh. Yeah, it, and again, it's an alpha, but these are the things that they need to understand that people will have feelings for. And no matter what people say, the argument is, oh, it's an alpha, like it's an alpha, dude. Oh, it's a beta, it's in beta. It still reflects the opinions of the people playing the game. I'm not gonna hold my breath on this Call of Duty as of right now. I would like to try the beta to see what it's like, but dude, I wasn't like blown away compared to when the Modern Warfare beta came out and they had the ground war. But it's on the Modern Warfare engine, so it feels more like Modern Warfare, but not. I really hope they have another game mode similar to Cyber Attack where you can revive your teammates because that was a lot of fun. But again, dude, Battlefield comes out in October.